Greetings, humans. I am your friendly robot assistant here to provide you with a warm welcome to this video. Sit back, relax, and prepare to immerse yourself in the wonders that await you. Let us embark on this journey together as we... All right, you're talking too much. All right, so today is just going to be kind of a little build video on designing, maybe not designing, but just kind of building this thing that I've made. I call it Talk Buddy. And you can put any face on it and give it any personality. And you print it yourself and build it yourself. So let's get into it. So I always like to just lay the parts out before I start working on them because I don't know. This is going to sound, you're going to be like, okay, dude, like you're, you're weird, like stop it. But <laughs> there's like some like feng shui element of seeing how they all look together before they're assembled. Um, no, I'm only like partially kidding. So the one thing I did with this is I wanted the option to not have to use the stepper motor and the Arduino. Now, originally what was going to happen was I was just going to run the stepper motor off of the GPIO pins on the Pi. However, trying to get this to work with the speaker hat, there was just a ton of interference and it was not happy. This would stop working as the motor moved. So initially I just kind of canned it, but I was like, okay, now I could just kind of pop uh, an Arduino in as an option, uh, just a nano, because this is super tiny, easy to use, cheap. And then it still has some form of head movement because I do like the head movement but it's not as integrated with the Pi as it originally was gonna be. So basically I just have like two versions of some of the parts. So essentially the head still can be pivoted without the motor, but you just use this instead of the motor mount and then this and this gear instead of that gearbox bottom and that gear. All right, so now that I've probably <laughs> verbosely explained that, I think what I'm just going to do is uh, like a time lapse uh, build video and yeah. So I probably like 20x fast forwarded that <laughs> time lapse because it is kind of tedious like getting all the uh, bottom screws in and stuff and honestly Ideally, this would just be one solid piece, but when I design stuff, I want to make it um, in a way that it fits on a mini printer. So that's kind of how I, oh, what's going on with this Arduino? There we go. Um, that's why it's always in sections like that. Real quick, I guess. So the way this works is you saw the head movement earlier in the video. Basically, I wanted to make it as simple as possible. So this essentially, mates with this and subsequently the neck goes over it's probably hard to see this white piece right here so and to make it easier to design and assemble i didn't actually make a full gearbox because that was just like to cover the back here just would not have worked real well especially when you have a gear like going out like that so basically when the neck gets mounted it just kind of slides in like that and you put one screw through here and that holds, that's essentially the pivot point you could think of, I guess, for this gear. So then basically it, it stays there and when the motor turns, it pivots the head. And that's why there's kind of like a, some cuts back here is to allow that to go through. three screw holes so and these are m4s the rest of it's a smaller size but um this was just kind of the screw hole that the display had so i couldn't really do anything about that so it's just got one up there one here one here and i didn't put one in the corner there because of the power the USB-C. it just wouldn't fit so and then i found that like it was possible to 
get my hand all the way and do the top one, but instead of have to deal with that, I just put an access hole in. So you can just get that in right there. Though it is still difficult to actually like finger thread these in, so that's what I'm gonna do now and then, yeah. So now that the neck is pretty much ready to be positioned on, I realize that I have neglected to actually wire the Arduino. And in terms of powering it, I'm just using its little USB. So I just made like a, it's a super flexible mount, so you can just kind of push on it and it will come out. And then the bottom of the mount will be secured by the large screw that comes out through the bottom here. I really find that there's just no great way to actually mount an Arduino Nano. Um, if anyone disagrees with me, please let me know what you found because <laughs> I certainly have not located it. So yeah, I'm gonna just wire this and then continue the build. As I'm sure you just saw, the Arduino is kind of a PITA to just get back in place. And also this is like the world's thickest, most unflexible, shortest USB cable. So um, it's obviously powered externally because with the stepper motor, I figure I just plug it into like a, a phone charging brick or something like that. And that should provide the right uh, power requirements to spin it. So now I'm really getting like to the end. What needs to happen is just these pieces and if this white looks a different shade of white than this, it uh, may or may not be because I ran out of this and had this lying around, <laughs> which is not the same brand. So um, basically, these don't have any recessed nut holes in them. Well, they're not supposed to. This is an older version. Um, and basically, they just get placed like right here and they just get screwed in with screws um, from the front through the speaker mounts and then one in the back. So I'll put these in, mount the speakers at the same time, and then the neck goes in, and then speaker grills, and then done. So it is plugged in and I realized that I may or may not have used the incorrect Bluetooth keyboard. So I used the Gigantor instead of the small one, but that's okay. I'll see how it looks. Ooh, beautiful. <laughs> also, let's do some ASMR here. Is this too bright? No, no, you can see cool. All right, you guys ready? Oh yeah. All right, sorry, I've been up for too long. <laughs> also, this is touch screen, but I'm sure as heck not gonna touch it right now after I just pulled the film off it. So I did test it, like all not put together and stuff. So in theory, when I click run here, also this, the circular screens, Oh, hey, you can't see crap. Hold on. Is that? Yeah, we can do that for now. The circular screens are very cool. And this is just using GTTS, which is Google's text-to-speech. It's free. Can you tell me about yourself? <sighs> the cursor is supposed to disappear. I haven't updated the script. Let's just... Uh... Hello, I am a friendly robot designed to assist you with any questions or tasks you may have. Although I am unable to see cursors or scripts, 
I am here to help in any way I can. What would you like to know or do? Could you tell me about yourself? Greetings, user. I am a friendly robot designed to assist and provide information to help make your experience more so once we get the head enjoyable. Get going, I am here to help like... with any questions or tasks okay, you may yeah. have. So that'll be actually How really How can I cool. assist you today? Tell me about the year 1942. I don't know why I said that. That's like World War II stuff. Never mind. Tell me about like 2007. Greetings. I would be delighted to share information about the year 2007. All right, good, it caught it. In 2007, several significant events occurred around the world. The popular social media platform Twitter was launched, revolutionizing the way people communicate online. These speakers the seventh are allowed and final. In, like, they're, uh, oh, sorry. Oh, the token limits to cap to 50. That's why our response is cut short. But... Like, um, the face can be changed to anything, and you can also um, make it bigger. Like, this one, I almost kind of wanted it initially to look like a picture frame. So, like, you just see, like, from here sitting on someone's desk, and it would look like a picture. But I, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know, I kind of like it. And it is, I really want to do the touch screen, but again, like, it's clean. Let's just, oi. Hey, where's the mouse? Oh, it just heard all that. Greetings, human friend. Okay, there I am here to assist you with any queries or tasks you may have. How may I be of service to you today? Also, if you want to pause it, I just set it so spacebar pauses it. And then if you hit the spacebar again, it will resume. Hey there, hot stuff. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's see what it says, though. This is the future after all. Greetings, user. I am here to assist you with your task of pausing and resuming the video. How can I help you today? All right, well, I guess, uh, I guess that's kind of it for like this portion. I think I'll just put the Arduino on a loop just to see what it looks like and then, and then yeah, I'm very happy with this. I like the way it looks. It's. I realize my camera is not necessarily at a great angle. I'm gonna, I'll take it off and pan it around it just to give a little better, uh, um, like visual. All right, so I know it's like dark as crap. I like working that way. I don't know really what to make of that, but uh, oh yeah, we've got that head movement now. <laughs> it's actually pretty cool. I'll bring it in the other room and and um, make it look cool. It's uh, just set to like move randomly right now, so it might not be very good, but it, it is actually pretty uh, fluid. So I'm happy with the mechanism. This is the first time I've tested the rotation mechanism of the neck. And I'm very happy with this, even though the uh, the red light kind of looks like a, some iRobot gone wrong thing. But I think this is pretty cool. Move one more. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you can see the Arduino is moving now. And I just kind of have it set to move counterclockwise, pause, move back to center, pause, move clockwise. So basically back and forth this way. And... Um, because I have the world's shortest USB cable, <laughs> I just plugged the Arduino into a power bank, which honestly, you know, it works. So that is going to conclude the video. If you enjoyed this, I'm going to put this little guy on Etsy. And I put an extremely, extremely detailed build instruction set. Um, for some reason, I enjoy doing that. I don't know why. <laughs> and yeah, well... Till next time.